Hi, Tom Varsi, Military Embedded Systems. I am at Association of Old Crows show in Washington, D.C. I am with Nikhil. How are you, Nikhil? Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Good. So Nikhil's with uh, Analog Devices. He's going to show everybody a new platform that they have unveiling at AOC this year. Go ahead, Nikhil. Yep. So we have here our wideband 20 giga sample per second direct RF sampling multi-channel radar receiver platform. So as, as more and more customers are trying to build EW systems, they're looking for higher bandwidth and, and higher channel count. So and, and for that, they've been looking to new converter technologies. Uh, what we have here is our two, two of our 12-bit 10 giga sample per second data converters that we interleave to get a 20 giga sample per second data converter. And so what this, what this kind of solution lets somebody do is that you can, uh, with a 20 giga sample per second sample rate, you can direct sample L, S, and C bands. And it's also a wide band, so you can go instantaneous bandwidth from DC to about nine gigahertz. Um, the two devices are synced using our multi-chip synchronization feature, uh, which means two of the 90 to 13s can be synchronized within one clock cycle of each other. And then we also have the 4377, which is our PLL VCO, which can also be synchronized with each other. So what we what we essentially do is that we invert the incoming sample clock from one of the 4377s by 180 degrees with respect to the other. So what that lets us do is that every other sample comes from a different data converter. So that's how it's a system level ping pong interleaved solution. And so the way it's supported is by this scalable clocking architecture. So you can get to 20 giga sample per second, but what it also allows, because it uses a single 500 megahertz reference in, what it allows you to do is to take multiples of these, these boards and set up a 20 giga sample per second multi-channel receiver platform. And the switch between two data converters that are running at 10 to a single interleaved data converter is just a couple of spirites. So a user has the, the option to make that switch and, and build it into their system. So this is the wide input bandwidth plot that I was showing earlier. And from a receiver design perspective, right, it has a bunch of advantages. So there's lower swaps. So everybody's looking to build their radar receiver systems into a smaller uh, form factor. So there's that benefit. And with direct 20 giga sample per second, your frequency planning becomes more flexible. You can, you have uh, smaller relaxed filtering requirements. You cannot do it all with just a single mixer stage. Uh, if you're trying to build a receiver that needs to sweep, the sweeping time is low. And then it has built in DSP capabilities where using digital down converters, you can go from this wide band all the way down to a really narrow band. So you look at the spectrum, see what's out there, and then zoom in to what you actually want to look at. Right, thanks Nikhil. So if you want any more information about uh, analog devices, and you can either stop by the show if you're here, or yes. Uh, how can people get more information about Yeah, so, uh, so analog.com is our go-to for all uh, all the products that you're looking for. So we have everything from data converters all the way to front-end RF attach uh, and the PLL VCOs. Uh, so our entire portfolio is out there and it's categorized based on your end application. So it's it's built for, uh, for you to go access. Great. Thanks, Nikhil. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.